What's up everybody, it's your boy Talk To You Chris, back with another YouTube video. This one is the top five things that sneaker store owners hate just because they're so inconvenient. If you guys are watching this, make sure you smash that subscribe button, smash that like button, and drop a comment down for your boy. You already know it's your boy Talk To You Chris, and I hope you enjoy this video. These ain't it. That ain't it? These really? Ain't it. Steady learning, man, as I go, you know what I'm saying? That's crazy. Because I'm all the way, I told you, I'm all the way in Fort Lauderdale, so it, we don't really got no sneaker stores down there like this. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I think some, some cats just opened up a spot, like on Oakland Park and University, but if I had somebody to authenticate them, yeah. it would be a lot easier for me. You know okay. what I'm saying? Yeah. Because the trip that I make from down there over to here, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, of course. And I, no, I know, I know, I know you, you feel me like, it happens to the best of us, I, bro. I see that too, that's how it folds in like that too, yeah. huh? Yeah, and yeah. the padding, look at the stitching right here. Right oh yeah, I do see it. That's crazy, man. So as you guys just saw, that was number one, and it's one of the most common issues in the sneaker game today is when a customer tries to sell us a fake pair of shoes. It's a huge liability because we could easily just get caught slipping and it could be a potential big loss if it's a hype shoe. Um, I was going by like, just give me an offer pretty much. Cause. Give you an offer? 100? 100? Yeah. What's your price then? Like at least 350. 350? Yeah. Um, these are used, right? Yep. Definitely pass on those. How much on these? 250. 250. Pass on these. How much on these? 250. Everything here is used? Uh, yeah. 2 is when a customer comes in and tries to skyball their shoes and basically what that means is when he's asking like way above market and it's not a liability for us but it's just kind of ridiculous when somebody is coming into a sneaker store and not doing their research before making sure that they're going to be able to leave us you know some room for profit and they come in just asking for above market price. Fifty. And you said how much on these? How much would that be? Two seventy-five. Fifty. All right. All right. What's the cash? Taking my deals, bro? Damn. I've been looking for these, bro. Sorry. Damn, fam. <laughs> Yeah, no nah, bro. You want them? Yeah, so, of course I want them. So number three is when a customer tries to steal our deals. And the reason we don't like that is because they're taking away business from us using our platform. One seventy, one eighty. I'll run that. You see, I'm not lying to you, nigga. That's a good deal. For sure. We'll run that. Let me get the. Coin. I got a table. It's not. <laughs> Let's get some bed. Alright, chill. One eight. Mm. <laughs> Alright, but wait, because we're gonna come back. Because he has to go to another one. Yeah, we're gonna go check out that other store, the one like that plaza. I don't know what it's called. It's like in a plaza on the second floor. Oh, okay. So I don't see maybe like they give me a better deal on this. Those are homies, you feel me? They were cool with them. But the offer that I'm giving you right now, 
four hundred dollars cash. That's a good deal. I'm gonna come back if they don't give me. I'll work back. with you now. I'll give you a better deal now, but that's now. You feel me? If you go over there and they offer you less, then that's a whole other story. All right, let's do four twenty-four forty. Coin flip. The dumps. Yeah, the dumps. I got you for one eighty when I come. What you mean? We just did a coin flip. Nigga, you said we're gonna come back. He's gonna go come with those. Let me see what they offer me over there. Bro, what you mean? We just did a coin flip on it. Nigga, you won. I fucking won the coin flip. I know. I'm gonna give you the 180. And I said I'm gonna come back with him. Nah, I'm gonna give. I'm gonna send you the bread right now. Nigga, I won the coin flip. Exactly. So we're giving you 180 for them. And I'm telling you that I'm gonna come back. You, I still won the coin flip. Bro, we just we closed the deal. Once we do a coin flip, we shook hands and everything. And I won the coin flip. We shook hands and I get him for 180. That doesn't mean that I'm gonna sell him. Bro. Nah, I don't know. <laughs> what do you mean? Look, if you, if you you if you wanna take him, you can take him, but don't ever come back here. That's cool. Go ahead. Dude, like, no, nah, hell no, nah, bro. Don't come back, bro. If you're not gonna we did a coin flip and we shook hands. Okay. You're not if you're gonna leave out of here, you're not being a man of your shook word. Hands. How and I'm gonna expose you to it, bro. Then do it. Alright, for sure. You shook for 170, 180, I got my 180, I told you. And I said give it. I literally told you that I'm gonna come back. Nah, we gotta leave the deal. We gotta make the deal right now. I just we okay, just made a point for it. Okay, then I will walk out. Alright then, peace out, bro. Okay, thank you. Guys. <laughs> that boy's banned for life. So number four is when a customer flakes on a deal and the reason we don't like that is because once we shake hands or do a coin flip, a deal's a deal no matter the outcome. Follow on my dick, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, Where you gonna find shoes at this old in this condition? Ain't really going on that Wait, well, which ones are dead stock? Look at who. Well, I don't know, you know about shoes. I got... Well, dead stock, you mean, I, I, I Dead stock is brand new. I don't know about shoes, bro. Brand, them brand new. These? Them cool grades just came out, bro. Oh, oh you're saying that like that, they just came out, like brand new, they just came out. Yeah, they came stock. out over. You never wore these? I won't. Probably. Okay, that's what it means. You can't. Yeah, yeah, because that stock is that stock. There's like uh, there's like terms. You get me? That stock. Oh, my brand, brand. That stock is like brand new, never worn. You get me? Like on, on ice. They don't want worn once or twice. Okay, okay, okay. Let me know so I can toss on this one. All of them have been worn at least once or twice. Last but not least, number five is when a customer lies to us about the condition of their shoes that they're trying to sell to us. And the reason we don't like that is because if they're valuing a shoe as brand new, but they're actually used, then it'll be very hard for us to come to an agreement based on the market price. Shout out to everybody who made it to this part of the video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Before we end this video, we added a bonus clip of a coin flip gone wrong. I feel you, uh, 120 again. And 90 or 100. Can I flip it? You wanna flip it? That boy got the fake quarter now, bro. That shit got a magnet. <laughs> oh God, bro. That nigga, I got heads. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, all right, this boy I got tails, I got tails. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but I won, I just won again. Nah. <laughs> but that shit gotta hit the ceiling, come back down two times and shit. Let's go, baby. Oh! This nigga just went, like, ah, nigga. <laughs> there you go, fuck it. Hey, nice I got it on camera. I got it on camera. You gotta replace the light now. <laughs> God damn, dog. No. <laughs> nigga, definitely just see this nigga three feet and this nigga forced it. What the fuck? What the fuck? I told him we gotta hit this ceiling and come down. That nigga took that shit literally again. <laughs>